The Battle of the Somme, Gruesome Trench Warfare. Introduction. Welcome to today's video where we will be discussing one of the most significant battles of the First World War, the Battle of the Somme. This battle took place between July and November of 1916 and was fought between the Allied forces, primarily British and French, against the German Empire. Background. The Battle of the Somme was fought in the area around the River Somme in France. It was fought to break through the German front line and advance towards the town of Bepont. The secondary objective was to relieve pressure on the French army, which was under attack in the Battle of Verdun. The Allies had planned to achieve their objectives by launching a massive artillery bombardment on the German lines. The bombardment was supposed to destroy the German trenches and cut their communication and supply lines. The plan was to then send in troops to capture the German positions and advance towards Bepong. Preparation The British forces prepared for the battle with a week-long artillery bombardment. The plan was to fire a million shells at the German positions, causing massive destruction and killing many German soldiers. The bombardment began on June 24 and lasted for a week. The British had planned to destroy the German trenches and prepare the way for the troops to move forward. However, the German forces had dug deep trenches, making it difficult for the Allies to gain ground. The artillery bombardment failed to destroy the German trenches, and the Germans remained in control. In fact, the Germans had built a network of deep underground bunkers that protected their soldiers from the bombardment. The battle, on July 1, the Allies launched their attack with the explosion of 17 massive mines beneath the German trenches. The explosions were heard as far away as London and the craters left behind were so huge that they could be seen from space. However, the attack failed, and the Allies suffered over 57,000 casualties, making it the bloodiest day in the history of the British Army. Despite this huge loss, the Allies continued to fight for the next four months. The battle was characterized by the brutal and bloody nature of trench warfare. The conditions in the trenches were terrible with soldiers facing extreme cold, wetness and disease. The soldiers spent long periods of time in the trenches with little food, water or sleep. Over the next few months, the battle continued with small gains made by both sides. The British introduced new tactics, including the use of tanks, but the Germans were quick to adapt. The tanks were initially very effective but were soon countered by the Germans with the development of anti-tank weapons. The battle ended in November, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. The Allies had advanced just six miles, but the Germans had been weakened, making it easier for the Allies to push through in the later stages of the war. Conclusion The Battle of the Somme is remembered for its sheer scale of loss and devastation, with over one million casualties. It is a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the need for peace. The battle was a turning point in the war, marking the end of the phase of static trench warfare and the beginning of more mobile warfare. The Battle of the Somme became a symbol of the senseless sacrifice of human life during the war. It has become a painful reminder of the dark side of human nature and the need for reconciliation, forgiveness, and understanding. The battle had a profound impact on the lives of soldiers who fought and the people who lived through it. It has left a legacy of sorrow and pain that still affects us today. Thank you for watching this video on the Battle of the Somme. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more historical content.